Hi. Oh, there's a door I probably have to go in. You are out of my range. You jerk. Oh, at least he's dead. Come on, really bully guy. Thank you. Ow. You are a jerk. Now you must die. Hi. And now I kill you. Kill the devil. Woo! More medicine. Uh, please let me into the back. Please let me into the back. Please let me into the back. Thank you. Tool! Itchy head! Something about hitting multiple times. Um... Is this the door? No, it's too gooped over for me to use. I'm gonna guess we have to go up the stairs with all the goop. Hey, seriously, that's it. Ew! Eve! Ew! Can you hear that? That's gross! Eve, you're gross. Eve's on the other side. Eve, you're gross! Hi. And yet this room is clean. Mostly. Except for Eve. Eve. Oh. Oh dear. Um. Yeah. That's a lot of boob. Also, she's very pregnant. And they take the Japanese way of just phasing out the nipples. Aha. Uh -huh. God, that's creepy. Hi, honey. How are you? Um. <laughs> Be quiet. The baby's sleeping. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be quiet. It's a wonder you made it this far. <laughs> so you're going to congratulate me on this birth. What are you planning to do, Eve? I think she's planning to give birth. Hmm. Perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? Maya. She's kind of Maya, but not really. More cutscenes! Shoot her. Don't get all... She's starting to get all head-weirded. Does she have some kind of tail? Hey, uh, this is when you start shooting, possibly at that rocket launcher. Still got a lot of bullets left, I mean. See, in this entire time, you could have unloaded about 10 rockets into her. Just saying. <laughs> so, I guess. The people from Central Park became a person again. Kind of. To emulate the guy from, um... Where did they get the skeleton for that? Yeah, this is when you start shooting her. Oh, now she pulls out her gun. And yet, still doesn't shoot. As you can see. Aya, you are useless. Unless I, the player, am controlling you. You are useless. <laughs> I see the two of you made it. Are you okay, Aya? Aya. Daniel, Maida, you both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it, though. Did you see that ugly mama? That... that was everyone from Central Park. What? And you're saying that Lorraine's part of that thing, too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Dot dot dot. Squall syndrome. Or yes, it has become apparent as to what medication Melissa has been taking. What was she on? She was being administered immunosuppressants. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? 
Well, she probably needed to suppress her immune system for some reason. Like, transplant. In the car! Here's the story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. <clears throat> transplant? What kind of transplant? Well, the kind where you take one part of somebody up, yeah. Like your sister's kidneys and put it into her. After Maya died in a car accident. A kidney transplant? So Melissa got Maya's kidney? Eh, I guess that kinda makes sense. I mean, if a little girl will sign up to be an organ donor. Your mother and your sister were donors. Oh, this is Daniel, right? What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. No, I'm, I'm sorry. The young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Then Ma Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney? The intern that was present at the operation was, you guessed it, Dr. Clamp. Our main man, Clamp, wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. Then they probably would have run more tests and not transplanted it into a little girl. That seems kind of like being left over from a practice suit. Then Eva's is hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Eve killed the host brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant, a kidney transplant to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This was all so that Eve could have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. It is in order to transplant organs, it is necessary for the HLA type to mass match. It lives symbiotically with the other cells, so it is necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection, at least until, you know, you don't have to worry about it anymore. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change. But she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to a doctor, she would have been told to give up a part. So in order to, keep her, to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs. After taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. And that was how she transformed into mitochondria Eve. Okay. So then, Maya is the original Eve. In reality, it was Maya's mitochondria. Not actually Maya. Oh, hey, honey bonds. Poor girl. Well, this isn't going to end well, is it? Roger, commencing operations, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Um, I don't think so. Don't be imp impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. Y yes, sir. F forgive me, Admiral. We're gonna do something drastic. Calling all fighter jets. We have received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. Oh, great. <laughs> They're gonna take fighter jets to try and attack Eve. Didn't they remember how well that went the first time? Oh, well. All the king's horses, and all the king's men, and all that jazz. What? Are you sure? Oh boy. The navy's made their move! What? We can't allow this to happen. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the jets. Yes. Yes, you will. <laughs> Well... I think this is the time to salute our armed forces, guys, because they ain't making it out of this. So... No, Lorraine! Lorraine can't be part of that thing! huge creature, or no, those cells, they must be where Eve's giving birth. Where she's giving birth? Yes, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. Oh, that's not good. So this is where we nuke the shit out of it, right? 
or it destroys all of the helicopters. This is when you leave jets. Please, fighter jets, you don't want to, you don't want to do this. Oh, bye. Yeah. Well, I think he's done goofed, honestly. But salute you anyway. The rain. The helicopter's coming. Now this is when you run. Everyone, duck, cover your heads and. <laughs> I don't think that. <laughs> Is this going to go straight to the end of the game? Because if so, I am going to have to save it. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Maida. Officer Bray of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her to the what? Well, apparently they want to talk to her, saying she's the only one who can get near Eve without exploding. Hi, guys. Welcome aboard the Navy's Pride and Joy. The 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 the, the Nimitz? Nimitz? Is that what it is? Nimitz? Nimitz. 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 Hey, you better not put A in danger here. You. Who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite alright, Lynch. After all, he is right. <laughs> They're not gonna put A in danger. But what do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to go in on our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on. Ant can't fly a helicopter! Not to worry. The chopper's been set to auto. She won't have any problems. Unless... What if she can't be ignited? She can't be ignited anyway! <sighs> Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at a close range in order to work. And we cannot move in that close since we'll be ignited. Well... You don't need to move that close. I mean, there are ranged ballistic nuclear missiles. I'll do it. Aya, no way! You're not going up there! Our fate- Oh, this isn't made Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. Okay, Daniel. Huh, she doesn't really have much choice. That thing, that's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine too, Aya. W wait Aya, please take this. Yes. Yes, take it now. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. No, no, you you want to do yes. I may have Oh Jesus. Of course I'll be fine. No, this is the one time I really don't want this. Or you I have no chance to save. Well, be right back, guys. I gotta turn my light on. It's starting to get real dark in here. Because sun's setting stuff. Well. This is going to send me into the final fight. Great! Longest session ever! My computer is unhappy. My computer still thinks I'm in a museum. <laughs> We're gonna hit 40 hours, guys. The creature's within view. Switch to formation 2. Okay. We're gonna nuke it. We're gonna nuke it. What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're, per we're positioned this way for a reason. What do you mean? They're going to protect you, even though they know they're going to die. Because it has to go through them to get to you. Yep. They're sacrificing their lives to give you a chance to nuke it. We will act as your shield so that you will live to attack the creature. What? No! I'm not doing this without your- And sh they die anyway. 
Yep. We're pre entering fire and rage. Prepare to attack. Okay. All right. Please move away from me now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. And it's, yeah, it's too late for them. And she fires a nuke. Since Christmas Eve, I've put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I, I don't understand. Shoot the nuke! But I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm gonna destroy- Or I'm the one- I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. I'm bad at stuff. Maya, I am just gonna let you rest peacefully. <sighs> Shoot the nuke! There you go, honey buns. I'm still not at a safe point. Why am I not at a safe point? I need to be a safe point. And also, they just shot a nuke on American soil and took out the Statue of Liberty. And the nuke didn't work. Because that's how nukes work, right? They just don't work sometimes. I mean, they blew it up, but. It's still there. We did it! No, not yet. Mm. Well done. That was magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No, it's not over yet. <laughs> of course it's not. It's never over yet. And who comes rising out of the abyss of goop? Hi, Eve. You have hands for hair. She's looking right at me. <laughs>